Welcome back. Well, each year the Eric Height Foundation hosts their 5K Fun Run and Touch a Truck Festival, and it keeps getting bigger and better every year. Now, here to talk about it are Manette Powell from the Eric Height Foundation and Stancil, owner of Fleet Feet, and Sergeant John Malovich from TPD. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. What a cool event we're going to talk about. It's sort of a, a nice exclamation on National Police Week, like we Correct. were saying earlier. Correct. So, Manette, I want to start with you. Tell us a little bit about what the event is. Well, this is the seventh year that we've had this event. Of course, it's going to be the 5K, the two-mile walk. Families can walk. We're going to have children there, people with strollers, kids with tricycles. We're going to have a kids race, a pancake breakfast, the touch a truck event, live music, raffles, just lots of fun for first responders and military to come out, let their hair down, and have a great day. Absolutely. Like I said, it gets bigger and bigger every year. That yes. sounds like tons of fun for oh, people to go exciting. out there. But we're really bringing sort of, we're memorializing very important people and, and sort of bringing awareness to this. So tell us about the Fallen Officer Memorial part of this. Okay, so in honor of National Police Week, we have teams that are going to be running or walking in honor of falling. Um, officers. They'll be wearing the bibs, they'll be carrying the signs with their pictures. We don't ever want to forget their sacrifice because they um, have served and protected and some have lost their lives as a result. So we just don't want to, want to ever forget that. We okay. appreciate what they've done for of us. Of course. And on the screen we're seeing, I'm guessing, what those bibs look like. Or yes, what, what those are the bibs. Will, will be able to memorialize those officers and it really, it's an amazing way to do that. It is. We don't ever want to forget. Absolutely. We never want to forget. And we have uh, one of those first responders with us now, Sergeant Malovich. We're glad we you could join us today. Absolutely. Um, and you're here to so sort of tell us about the touch a truck portion of this. Right. And uh, what we can expect. So we're going to have vehicles from not just Tucson Police Department, but also Tucson Fire Department, Tucson Electric Power, um, Pima, Community, or Pima Sheriff's Department, and just an array of different vehicles. Most of them are first responder types, so it'll be a unique opportunity, especially for kids, to get hands-on to the vehicles. Mm -hmm. We'll actually have displays. Um, for us, we'll have our armored vehicle that'll be out there, so the kids will actually be able to climb on it, touch it. It's touch a truck. Yeah. So they'll be actually get down there. Uh, we'll actually have equipment displays. We'll have several SWAT operators from RHC out there with equipment so they can answer questions. And same thing, kids can come out. They can see the equipment that we use, um, see some of the stuff that we have on our vehicles. The bomb squad will be there as well. So they're really unique opportunity to kind of get up close and personal with the stuff they've probably seen on TV mm -hmm. but never actually seen in person. Lots of hands-on, like you said, and it's probably not just the kids that are going to want to no. do it. The adults <laughs> probably love it just as much. You get just as many adults. Yeah, I know I know. I would totally nerd out if I <laughs> see something like that. And so, Ann, mm -hmm. you're with Fleet Feet. Well, yep. you're the owner of Fleet mm -hmm. Feet. And tell us how you're involved this year. I know you've been involved for many yeah. years, but tell us what you're doing this year. Um, so this year we are continuing to support the event um, financially and also to provide a place for people to come and get all their race gear and packet pickups uh, and uh, you know prepare for the for, for the event as far as gear and everything and it's uh, it's an event that's really near and dear to our hearts I think it's it's a wonderful opportunity for the community to come together and celebrate fitness and family and fun but it's also a time for us to remember uh, the fallen officers celebrate first responders and those members of the community that are really out there doing the tough work to keep our lives and um, you know safe and easy yes. and everything. So we're really excited. Well, certainly. And, and uh, like you mentioned last year, too, this is sort of uh, the end point for a lot of folks going mm -hmm. through your 5K program. So tell us what they're going to be yes. doing. Yes. Uh, so we offer training programs throughout the year. We partner with a company called Southwest Endurance Training. And our spring 5K group is going to be graduating at the Eric Height 5K. So we're really excited to celebrate their accomplishments and uh, at such a fun event. It's going to be a, a good time. Definitely. So we're celebrating, you know, all those folks. Mm -hmm. We're memorializing these mm -hmm. officers and really to get back to the heart of the event, it's going to be a fundraiser. And what, what are these funds really going to go to? Well, the funds are going to go towards the expansion of our existing location on the east side and the capital campaign we're excited about for our future location on the northwest side. Well, that's going to be excellent. Yes, it's we're going to be excited. a wonderful way to raise those funds. And is there anything that you guys would give advice to people? You know, if maybe they're going to sign up for this for the first time, what would you say to them to sort of prepare for it? Well, for, as far as signing up, there's still opportunities um, at the mandatory pack packet pickups, okay. Thursday at Fleet Feet in Tanka Verde, and then Friday at Fleet Feet on Oracle in um, Oral Valley. 
from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then people can also register on race day. Excellent. Super easy for people to sign oh, up. Oh, definitely. It, go online. Yep. There's ways to pay. Definitely. You it's know, go on be a our blast. website. Absolutely. And guys, I want to thank you so much for coming on and telling us about this. It's super important what you're doing and bringing awareness to this. So thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. Now, the event is taking place this Saturday at Reed Park from 645 until 1030 in the morning. To learn more, call 495-0430 or visit ericheightfoundation.org.